It's almost every day, bro. <laughs> oh. All right, after a much needed break, it wasn't really much needed, but you know, putting up videos for you guys, you know, it's a lot of work, and especially we're doing them daily. And so every once in a while, we gotta check out a little bit, just so we can uh, live our life kind of without the camera. I'm sure you guys understand. And uh, you know, if you watch channels and they post a lot of content, just be patient with them sometimes when they take a little break, because you don't want to get burned out. You know, the day that this turns into like a job for us, um, is the day we're just going to quit posting videos. So right now it's not. We post videos because we like it. But when we don't want to do it, we don't do it. So today we're going to talk about the sheep. I'm going to give you guys a good tip on uh, some sheep action. And uh, it probably uh, pertains if you have goats. But we don't have goats, but I'll bet you a bazillion bucks that this information is good for them as well. All right, so I'm out here doing my chores. And this is what I want to talk about first. There's the new baby, and wouldn't you know it, she only had one. She had me kind of tricked a little bit. Um, boy, she was scratching and kind of moving around. I thought she was going to have two, but she only had one, and she's doing really good. Um, that's not the mama there. That's another sheep that's going to lamb. The baby's with the mama right now. So what I want to talk to you guys about is when you have a single birth, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys to the best that I can, if I can get around her. Um, you know, something that could happen. Now what you'll notice is you'll see her bag, if she turns around here for you, see her bag, it looks pretty uh, even right now, okay? So sometimes what'll happen, and has happened to us before, is that the baby lamb will only nurse on one side. So what'll happen is, you'll end up getting and looking at a bag from behind that's very heavy on the left side or right side and the other side looks perfectly normal. And you'll start freaking out and you'll be like, wow, maybe you have mastitis or maybe there's something going on. And so it'll, it'll really cause concern for you and you'll get worried, okay? Now mastitis is, you know, nothing that you wanna take lightly. You wanna definitely keep aware of that. See how that bag is? It's nice and level right now. It's both sides are perfectly perfect. But mastitis, you want to keep an eye on it when you have a new baby uh, because sometimes their teeth, even on calves, you know, cows and stuff, their teeth can actually penetrate the nipple and then cause a problem with the udder and then that could cause the mastitis to get the infection. So usually what happens is you'll get some antibiotics and you'll treat um, the teeth or the bag area and you know that'll go on for a little bit and then it'll get better. And they say in sheep, you know, mastitis is pretty rare and if it does occur, you're probably going to want to call um, that you from the herd because then it can become a problem over and over. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is if you see a lopsided bag on a new you that's just lambed, you'll wanna try to pin her up and milk that other teat, okay? So it's happened to us before where we had a lopsided bag on a you that was new mom. She only had one lamb and then we started to milk that lopsided bag side, and then what happened was they leveled out, and then the baby started to nurse on the other side. Sometimes what'll happen is as that bag fills up, the nipple gets a weird shape to it too, um, and so the lamb won't nurse on that side because it doesn't like the way the nipple feels, it doesn't feel right. So that's perfectly normal. So that'll be the first thing that you'll wanna do is um, milk that side, check it out, and then if, if that doesn't secure the problem, then you wanna move on to some more aggressive treatment. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. All right, that is the Sheep 101 for today. Um, just keep an eye on those bags, especially when that first uh, lamb out or they kid out 
um, if you have a do or a u because you'll notice right away that one side is getting very lopsided so it's very easy to fix all you have to do is drain that side and you'll actually while you're doing it it'll shrink right back up and it'll look perfectly level and then just keep an eye on it for a little bit uh, because if you leave that in there it can actually cause mastitis so you want to be um, you know aware of what's going on with your animals so hopefully you guys got a little something from this video also um, we're just got the new homestead homie shirts out nice and actually we're going to be giving away two count them one two in this video all you have to do is say welcome back we missed you and then we're going to randomly pick two people and then we're going to get you guys um, a couple shirts mailed out uh, right to your front door so as always check us out on facebook instagram and twitter and don't forget we have the poem contest going on uh, it goes to the end of the month the 28th you have to be 15 years of age or younger send in your poem we're going to read them on the videos um, we're checking the p.o box we already got some in and we really like them and we enjoy them so anything to do with homesteading or why you watch off grid with doug and stacy or if you've been fermenting or anything cool like that uh, just leave it in your poem and send it off to us the the P.O. Box is in every single video that we put up, so it's easy to get to us. No emails or nothing like that. We want it nice on paper with a stamp and mailed and all that good stuff. It's a great homestead project, a uh, homeschool project for you guys on the homestead. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.